We're here again with Chris and Jane from Baby Glow, the inventors of the high temperature indicating sleep suits. Um, Chris, Jane, why is it so important that parents have uh, a method of, of temperature indication? With the research we've done, um, we've looked into and researched the fact that babies, young babies, can't actually regulate their temperature. Um, it's a bit like having a central heating system without a thermostat, they'll just keep getting hotter and hotter. Um, and one of the causes of cot death um, is overheating, and that could be either external from room being too hot or baby overdressed, or it could be the internal temperature. Um, so therefore the baby may be developing a fever. And it's actually the, the colour changing properties of the sleep suit will actually be able you to see see that quickly. Um, and that's why it's an essential property with this colour changing aspect. Okay, from, from conversations we had earlier, I, I gather that uh, parts of the body are actually uh, able to show a temperature change quicker than you would normally be able to see or detect it. Is that true? One of the things that our, naturally our bodies in both adults and children actually does is when there is an infection or a fever inside, it's actually heating up to try and get rid of that fever. Um, and that's where it's important to be able to take that early and to be able to respond to the fact that that temperature may keep rising and rising. And that could have obviously an adverse effect to the baby. It's important that you catch that change early so that you can actually start to do something about it. And that's really where it's important that we understand how the body works so that we've got an understanding to actually do something about temperature as it starts to rise. Okay, and then with a baby um, or with, with, with a small child like that, um, the temperature changes um, at certain parts of the body quicker than in other parts of the body. Is there, is there a hard and fast rule as to where it starts and where it stops? It tends to be in a fever. It will be the internal organ, so it will be the tummy area, it will be the central part. So that's why it's important from your point of view that you cover the body all over? Yes, yeah, and obviously there shouldn't be anything under the sleep suit, it should be directly in contact with the skin. And then because it's directly in contact with the skin, I'm assuming you've made sure that there are no materials in the sleep suit touching the skin that would potentially uh, cause any irritation or, or reactions? Definitely, one of the um, important aspects from myself obviously supporting Chris, who's came up with the idea and invented the garment, is that it needs to be safe from a mum's point of view. Um, it's a fantastic idea, but it does need to be backed up with all the safety aspects because one of anybody's initial questions are, is it safe? Um, and from the chemical levels and the way the garment's put together, um, the poppers actually being coated, all the elements of safety that need to be incorporated into baby clothing have actually been incorporated into our baby clothing suits. That's great. Thank you very much for that.